Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is investigating 109 cases of severe hepatitis in children, including five deaths. More than 90% of the children were hospitalized, and 14% required liver transplants, according to the CDC. Joining me on the morning show, Dr. Mobin Rathor, Chief of the Division of Pediatric Infectious Diseases and Immunology at UF Health Jacksonville. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. So the public health agency has not yet determined a cause, but more than half the children had adenovirus infections, and that's a fairly common virus, but they're not sure of its role. How concerned are you? How concerned should parents be? Well, I think uh, adenovirus is one of those viruses that causes both respiratory and uh, GI uh, or, or gut diseases. Uh, and uh, this has been identified in um, several of these uh, children. I don't think so parents need to be overly concerned at this time. You know, just use your good parental judgment, which all of us have. Uh, if your child is not well, uh, you know, talk to your pediatrician. Uh, you know, if your child's child's urine gets to be dark or the stool or the bowel movements get to be uh, clay colored or uh, discolored, you know, talk to your uh, pediatrician or, you know, the ultimately if you see that yellowish tinge on your skin or the, and the eyes, uh, but I think in general, this is still a rare condition, um, but it is something that once these uh, signs and symptoms appear, uh, certainly the patients, uh, the, the child should be taken to the pediatrician and deserves immediate medical attention. It is important to point out that the COVID vaccine had no role in this, but some of the children, I think 24 in the study, did have COVID. Well, you know, COVID, a lot of people have COVID these days, and the fact that you have COVID does not mean that it is causing everything. And in this particular case, we do know that, uh, mo the, you know, the, the children who are uh, having the hepatitis, several of them had uh, adenovirus 41, uh, and, and we know that, you know, hundreds and thousands and millions of kids have gotten uh, uh, the COVID vaccine. And uh, this is just a, a, a true, true unrelated. So there is no evidence at all that COVID vaccine in any way, shape or form uh, is uh, responsible for causing this hepatitis. So in trying to get to the root of the issue, uh, do they have to consider things including environmental factors, medications, things like that? Well, I think the first thing, whenever you have hepatitis, you talk about the alphabet hepatitis, alphabet hepatitis, which is hepatitis A, B, C, uh, D, and E. And I think that's the more common ones. Uh, and once they are excluded, you also obviously worried about uh, medications, toxins, all those things can cause hepatitis. Even your sort of regular infection, mono can cause uh, hepatitis. Other herpes viruses can cause hepatitis. So hepatitis can be caused by a wide variety of things. Uh, your, your focus is always on trying to identify the cause and uh, make sure that you are able to uh, see that this is not something that is treatable and you don't want to miss that. But this current hepatitis, it does not seem like uh, it is being caused by uh, any of those things that I just mentioned. And the presence of adenovirus is of course uh, of concern. That is why the CDC is recommended to the, to the healthcare professionals that if you have a child with hepatitis and you exclude the other causes, test them for adenovirus also. So I read that the UK has seen an uptick in adenovirus. How about here in the US? We, we have had uh, several patients uh, uh, who are have this hepatitis. Uh, the CDC has identified adenovirus as an infection in them also. The cause effect relationship is still being uh, investigated. Uh, this is a good lead. It seems like it may be responsible, but the final word is still not out there. And CDC is looking for uh, all healthcare providers if they see a case of hepatitis that they cannot identify a cause that they be tested for adenovirus and be reported to their local and state health departments and the CDC will take notice of that and will help in the diagnostic workup. So Dr. Rathor, the bottom line, severe hepatitis is rare, but moms and dads, if the hepatitis should uh, take root, parents should just take precautions. Right, even with this increased number of cases that are being seen, and as you said, uh, several of those children required uh, liver transplant, it is still a very rare condition. Uh, it is just that having, I mean, it's possible that uh, sort of, you know, we, we didn't have much of hepatitis during the pandemic, and now you're seeing several of these cases, but these uh, cases, even with this uh, group of 109 cases, is still rare. I mean, just we have to remember that. And parents should just use their judgment and talk to the pediatrician if they ever feel that their child may be having uh, dark color urine, uh, light color stools, 
uh, orange or yellow uh, tones in their skin and the eyes, or they're, you know, those are the things the kids may have fever, they may have anorexia. So I think uh, they need to contact their pediatrician and uh, so that further evaluation can be done. Dr. Mobin Rather, always appreciate your insights and your advice. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank 7 you. 7.53, we'll be right back.